This is 2022 November and I'm preparing for an open side black powder hunt. The maximum distance for such occasion is usually not more than 80 meters, but knowing the trajectory of your bullet is still very important. Testing it on the most common distances from 40 to 80 meters is essential. These old cartridges and old rifles offer much less help for the hunter than the modern digitalized rifles. But still, even if you shall never be that successful as others, the memories you gain will be much more valuable. The rifle is an original model 1873 Springfield trapdoor rifle in 4570 government caliber. A witness of great times, but still a tag driver, putting the bullets in the same hole even at larger distances with a proper load. These single shot rifles are fun to handle. They look obsolete, but in proper hands they can still do the job they were designed for. There are not too many times when your wife tells you to go to hunt, but if she did so, you must obey. Women have a much better sense for tough times than men. And during these turbulent times, having wild game meat in the fridge is an important benefit we must seize. So this young fawn just looked an excellent possibility to secure the meat for the family. The first hunt was close to a success, but as I could not get a clear aim, I did not fire the shot. But there is always another day, and another, and another, and another, because black powder hunting will put your will to the test for sure. This is the end of the summer, and I'm still waiting for my red deer to appear. That is the same location, and according to the deer tracks, they are still around here. But sometimes you're lucky, and sometimes not. Unfortunately, 
That was my last chance before the start of the busy September. The Trapdoor rifle was designed for black powder, and this action will not tolerate smokeless charges. Therefore, my cartridges are loaded with 70 grains of 2F Swiss powder, probably a close equivalent to the original charge. The charge is measured by volume, but then it is checked by weight as well. The powder is charged through a long drop tube that helps the particles to settle evenly in the case. This will improve accuracy. The next step is to compress the powder charge, because the volume of the modern cases is smaller than the original old cases. Now comes a thin over powder bed to protect the base of the bullet. My bullet is cast from an alloy of one part tin and 30 parts of lead. It is a Lyman 330 grain hollow point design, light enough for a flat trajectory. My lube is mixed from beeswax, tallow and synthetic engine oil. The bullet is seated without crimping. You don't need that for a single shot rifle. Knowing the trajectory and accuracy of your round and rifle is important but it is just as good to have a clear understanding about the terminal ballistics of the projectile. So let's fire this round into ballistic gelatin now. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, a beautiful energy transfer again. This bullet and this 70 grains of 2S Swiss powder just does its job. It's an accurate load and the terminal ballistics is also very good. We caught the bullet. The travel in, in this ballistic gelatin, it is about, let's say, 25-30 centimeters, which is quite good. And we have a beautiful, beautiful damage to the surrounding tissue, which means that, uh, that, that the, the, the transfer of energy was really strong in this case. And, and, hold on. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that is expansion. This is at least 30 millimeters, more than an inch, starting from 45 caliber. The summer is gone, and the autumn is also passing by. This is early November, a misty, cozy day with a bit of rain and fog. They say there are good days and better days for hunting. Now <laughs> this is surely one of those good days. I'm in the woods again, with my old, trusty Springfield trapdoor rifle and the black powder loaded 4570 government cartridge. The rutting season is over and the area opens for selective hunting. Its purpose is to control the population to maintain a healthy level by selecting the weakest and saving the strongest ones. These are the mountains of Pilish, north from Budapest. Hungary. The wind is zero, the temperature is around 10 Celsius. The day is foggy, especially on higher areas, so I'm moving towards the lower parts of our territory. The fog is your enemy and your friend. It hides your sound and scent, but blocks your vision. And even if you probably won't have a chance to shoot, 
it is still a charming experience to walk the misty woods all day. Whatever there will be, it just cannot be better. The visibility was changing rapidly as the light wind was moving the clouds. It was varying between 30 to 90 meters. When the weather gets cold, the red deer shall form herds. We call this in Hungarian a rudli. But as the weather was really mild, I was sure that I can expect only smaller groups of deer. I was following their tracks for a while, targeting a large clearing where they usually spend the night. Here they still find plenty of food. At the end of the clearing, on the top of the hill, we have a high stand. But as the visibility was changing fast, I decided that I had more chance if I stay on the ground. So I only sent the camera to that position. And I was lucky. After a half an hour waiting, I saw that something is moving at around a hundred meter distance. Red deer. Exactly what I was after. The last one in the group seemed to be a middle-aged stag with an irregular and weak antler. A good choice for me. The distance was a bit more than 80 meters, more than what I like, but I had a good position and I had time to aim properly. According to the camera, the game showed a good hard hit, but I could not see that from my position as the fog and the smoke of black powder hit the game. I heard the stag run into the woods, and I heard it fell, but I could not guess the distance. As the smoke started to fade away, I became more and more nervous.
after waiting 10 minutes, we shall start to look for his trail. And luckily the search was not long. He only ran 10 meters before falling. We opened the game together and pulled him out of the clearing to give the final respect to the king of the Hungarian forest the red stag. <laughs> 